Hello friends, this is Hidden Layers EA. We are going to talk about how to put logos on your images and videos using a OpenCV. Let's see how this works. Imagine that you have an image of this. On top of it, you would like to have a, a logo which is looks like more of transparent with the background no not changing anything on the background of the image so that's what we want to achieve in this uh, video let's talk about some concepts so in this we are going to use important functions like threshold bitwise add bitwise not and add of images let's talk about what is threshold imagine that you have got one image and each image has got its own pixel colors and you want to put in such a way that some kind of threshold or a, a pointer in which below that particular point you would like to mark them as a black the remaining things you want to make them a gray okay or uh, sorry white you would like to see that way so threshold is that it is a point through which below those points from that threshold will be marked as a you know black or zero, zero and above threshold will be marked as a white or you know ones so other than that we do have a bitwise operations and then uh, bitwise uh, not operations let's see how those things works so imagine that we have a two images of this one one you know you have a left side white and black and you have a complete background and then a circle inside so if you want to do some kind of an operations so let's say bitwise and you want to do so what happens is the white and black of each of this each pixel wise because it is white is white uh, one and then black is uh, you know zero so bitwise operation between 1 and 0 will become 0 so that is how actually you get a black color so so you can see this this particular piece it is white and it is black since it is black and it is white so it is becomes a black okay and so you can visualize that easily or operation when you have a 1 and 0 it will become or 0 or 1 it will become ones so wherever there is a white it will remain as white or ones are becoming ones and uh, in between these two images here also there is a ones and here is a black, zeros so thus combinations will become ones or white xor is exclusive basically you can follow this particular truth table so whenever it is zeros it will become zero that means black and black will become black zero and one so zero for example here is a black and here is a white so zero plus one will become one so this is how it is one and one and zero it is white here this side is white and this is uh, this is white so white and white it becomes zero white and white becomes zero which is black and uh, 1 and 0 here is a 1 and this is a 0 so it becomes uh, 1 and 0 becomes again 1 so you can follow up that particular table these are the bitwise operations we are going to use this one for our calculate uh, you know, in our uh, video so the process of uh, you know logo uh, logo attaching into the image happens this way so let us take this as a logo and if you have a logo first step you need to convert into that gray color and using the gray on the gray colored image you will use the threshold with some values so what happens is anything below uh, bit, uh, below this threshold will become you know zeros the brighter colors are actually becoming white so have some kind of a mask we call it a mask Basically, it is a binary uh, image where you have a black and white. 
So bitwise, op bitwise not operation is nothing but for every bit that is there in the black, it will turn into white and the white will become black. So bitwise operations are done this way. So if you call it this is a mask and let's call it this is mask inverse. So you will see that the mask has a black background and white highlights and whereas mask inverse has a white background and a black highlights. Now what happens is you take this image plus this image you mix through the bitwise operation and because it is black and it is colored one black and colored or any color will become black. So white and any other color will become the color itself. That's how actually you get it here. So if you apply the same thing in the other side, let's take this particular area. You pick up area of this particular image and apply this mask on top of it. So here it is one. So whatever one white is there, that corresponding pixel will become the same color. That's how you get it here. Wherever it is black is there, it will be marked as black. So you get a black spot here, a black mask. So you are getting an image, okay, uh, with a highlighted uh, uh, points with a background black. Here you have a background uh, black uh, mask and background is this. So if you mix this one, it will get like this. So you will have like that. So let's I'm using a PyCharm. Let's start the code related things. I'm importing the OpenCV library, CV2. And then I'm taking the two images. That is temple and then a sunflower. Let's see how each individual looks. So this is an image where we are going to put this one here. This is the background image. Yes. This code tells that we are taking the logo related uh, sizes and we are putting into the you know rows, columns and its corresponding channels. And we are also identifying on the background image, image 1, which is nothing but a temple, we are identifying the logo area. It is more like cropping that image. Now, if you try to put, I will try to show how a paste operations looks like that. See, for example, you take the image of the first one and uh, copy a bit. On that, we are going to put this logo directly on that particular Columns. How does it look? It looks like this. The problem with this concept is we are just pasting it, background is lost, so it is not even transparent. So let's achieve better widgets. As I explained in the previous uh, process, first we are converting the logo image into the gray color. Once you have a gray color, then we are doing the threshold. Our threshold value is 175. This is the max value. So we are doing uh, different types of thresholds we can do. It is actually binary threshold. That means uh, you know, anything below this 175, then it becomes a black and the remaining things will become white. And this is mask and mask inverse. So let's just check how does this things look. You have a gray color image. You have a mask with a background black and white and mask in one Okay. Now let's apply these things. Once you have it, let us do the bitwise operations. On logo, we will use the mask that we have collected. And then on the logo area, we will mask inverse will apply. So 
Got it? Keep remember this bit by jar and operation. Got it. Now those two we call it a foreground with a black mask and the background with the mask. We will merge those things using an and operation. So once you have and then you paste back into the original image and let's see how that original image looks like. So you can see this, this how actually it does come. Now that we have seen We we'll apply the same concepts on the video. Just uh, let's see how it works. So currently I'm getting some video from local machine. Then uh, I'm reading those each frame. Once I have a frame, then I'm applying the same concepts. So these calculations are already done. So logo area we are collecting. This since this mask. Uh, gray coloring, mask creation, and mask inverse, they are all the you know common. So since I have already calculated, actually I am not putting those things into the loop. Once I have a frame in that logo area, I am putting the mask inverse, the bitwise. This is uh, logo area has come from frame, and uh, that's a background. Similarly, the, we already have a background with. Uh, foreground with the mask so we mix these two and then paste those things into this and then we will show that image and then we'll wait for five seconds five milliseconds and then move on to read the next frame like that so you will see that uh, in video coming with a logo you can see this this is video our logo will be, is there here, so it's very interesting. Good, once again, let's check. Logo, so it is running. So these calculations are pasted in every frame of the video. That's how actually it looks. This is, what, this is what I want to cover in this uh, video. If you have liked this video, please uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you have any questions, please put your questions in the comments box. And please subscribe. Thank you.